Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Joining us now, we have Ted who joins us from Covance. And Covance is a company that deals with nutritional chemistry and food safety. But today, we're going to talk to you a little bit about some of the clinical research studies in Madison and volunteering for those. You are, I'm going to cheat a little, but you are the executive director of clinical pharmacology. So very cool. And I'm excited to learn a little bit more about some of these clinical studies that you do. So talk, first of all, welcome. Thank you, Jess. I appreciate being here today. Thanks for having me. We're glad to have you. And I want to talk about these trials that you do. So talk to us a little bit about, you know, why these are important. Sure. So uh, Covance is a global drug development company. We develop drugs for pharmaceutical companies and biotechnology companies. And part of the process of getting drugs to market is that they're heavily regulated by the, the FDA and other regulatory bodies around the world. And so part of the activity that needs to happen is we have to test specific uh, um, uh, elements of the new medications to make sure that they're safe and efficacious for uh, patients to receive. And if somebody is interested in volunteering for something like this, so what what is involved? So what can they expect if they go into to a volunteer situation on, on a study like this? Sure. So there's a couple things. First of all, uh, because it is so regulated, uh, it's very uh, uh, monitored for safety. So throughout the, the process, they will be working with a great team of doctors, uh, pharmacists, technicians, nurses, who will over, oversee their safety. Uh, part of the process then is to get involved and learn more about how to do a trial. They can go to our website. But ultimately, there's two functions with that happen in a clinical trial. Uh, first, there's a screening process to make sure that they're appropriate to participate. So we look at their baseline medical condition, check their health, uh, take a blood test. And then if they're selected for a trial, they'll come in and stay with us for a period of time in which we'll conduct uh, some more tests to make sure that everything is safe with the medication. Okay, well that's interesting stuff. So you need probably somewhat um, specific candidates for different things or at least that they possess the, the qualifications for each particular study. Right, right. Okay. So we're, we're typically running a lot of different types of studies. So we have studies for everybody. So I, I encourage everybody to go look at our website and see more information about it. But uh, we will go through that process of identifying where, where uh, an appropriate match is so that we can get them in a trial that meets their needs. Okay, and what about you know, members of the local community, how can they, what's the best way for them to get involved then? So uh, I'd encourage everybody to get involved. As, as drugs come to market, we need a lot of people to participate in the process. And it's a very personal thing for some people as they can help uh, move medications forward for you know, uh, interests that are important to them. We just heard about Alzheimer's earlier in the show. And there's lots of other therapeutic areas that need support. So if they come to our website, they can learn more about the opportunities to uh, get involved with that research. Okay. And give us an idea, maybe some examples of the types of clinical studies that you do here in Madison. Right, so the, the research um, is usually very focused. It's a small group of people uh, where we'll collect samples for them on um, several days. People can stay in uh, with us for a couple days up to a couple weeks or even longer. And during that process, they'll have time to uh, uh, learn or, or participate and do uh, activities within the study. Okay, wow, great. And talk to us a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm imagining that there's some benefits for the volunteers involved, or it might be tricky for you to get these volunteers. So what is, what is the benefit on their end? Well, I, I already mentioned the fact that there is uh, definitely uh, an altruistic aspect if they can help people they know that have a therapeutic area uh, of need. Uh, there's also the benefit of compensation that may be available for their participation. Um, they may meet friends while they come in and stay at the clinic, as well as they'll get a break from their day-to-day -day routine and get some downtime to catch up on things, do be on the internet and, you know, spend time uh, relaxing as they visit with us. Okay, so uh, aside from them helping potentially in a very important cause, you know, future cause, they also are compensated. I didn't know that. So that's always helpful, right? Always helpful. And if folks at home want to get more information, do you, how would you recommend they go about doing well, that? Well, I mentioned the website testwiththebest.com. I, I would make that a, a, a stop on your, on your research as you're learning more. We give references to independent sites like CenterWatch and, and others to make sure that people understand what, what's involved with participating in a clinical trial. And there's actually a really good interactive tour of what our facility is like. And so you can understand step by step all the processes that occur while you're with us and participating in a clinical trial. 
Okay. Well, we appreciate all the interesting information. This is something, a topic that uh, I, I didn't know a lot about. So it's, it's fun to, to hear about some of the ways that folks can help and get involved and uh, lots of great things. So thank you very much. Well, and, and one thing I would add is that uh, volunteering uh, in a trial is 100% you know, up to the individual. So if they feel apprehensive for any reason and they want to not participate, it's up to them to be um, a step away from the trial. Okay, very good information. Well, Ted from Covance, we thank enjoyed you. having you. Thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate your time. And thank you for joining us. That's it for us today for Talk of the Town.